All right, guys, listen up. I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is There Are Brighter Days Ahead. And listen to how God gave me this word. I love telling you guys how I got the word from God because I want to share stories on my channel because I know that God gave me the gift of storytelling. And so every single time God gives me a word, I always want to capture the pictures or the photos or just how God gave me the word. So here's how God gave me this word. Listen to this, y'all. So I haven't been to the gym in probably about a month or two consistently because I've been I've been like working on all the projects that God has told me to start. And I used to be such a gym rat and I knew that going to the gym for two hours a day, every single day, that was like my priority. It was a distraction to what God was calling me to do in this season. So I gave up the gym for a little bit and this does not mean I didn't, st I stopped working out. I still worked out at home, still went on runs, still went on jogs, still took my dog for a walk, still got my sweat in, but I just skipped the gym. And instead of spending two hours at the gym, I would spend time with God and I would spend time working on the projects that he told me to start. So listen to how good this is. So because I haven't been to the gym, I went to the gym for the first time on Monday and today is Thursday. So the first day I went, I was back at the gym. God gave me this word. And as you can see, like I said, the title is called brighter days ahead. So I know that I'm speaking to some of you guys because you might be in a season where there's just been constant, just problems and you feel like it's never ending and you feel like there's never going to be an end to this and you feel stuck and you feel like when is there going to be better days when is god going to bless me when is god going to answer my prayers and i'm here to tell you that god is telling you to hold on because brighter days are ahead so i'm at the gym and i'm doing um i'm like on the mat and on, i'm on a yoga mat and I'm doing mountain climbers. So you know like how you're, doing, how you're doing mountain climbers. And so you're looking down at the mat. And I can see like when I'm looking down, I can see the people behind me because my head is down and I can see the people who are behind me. From upside down, I see this girl's shirt and it says brighter days ahead. And I know that God speaks to me in threes. And so I'm like, okay, if God wants me to put out this word called brighter days ahead, then I need him to speak to me more that day and the next day. And so I'm waiting for him to unravel. And I, and as I stood up, I'm like, well, first of all, I haven't been to the gym in two months. And the first day I get back to the gym, I am upside down doing mountain climbers. And I see this and I read this girl's t-shirt from upside down and it's brighter days ahead. So God is telling you that even though your situation looks like it's upside down, even though you don't know how you're going to get out of where you are, God says that even though your situation looks like it's upside down, God's going to turn it around and there are brighter days ahead. That is so good. So God's saying that even when you're not moving, God is still moving. Even when you stopped counting, God was still counting. Even when you were counted out, God counted you in. And then I get home. Okay, so I, I already know that this is a word because I'm like, I saw this upside down and I started getting a word like, even though your situation looks like it's upside down, God is still telling you there are brighter days ahead. Okay, so that's how I started out writing this word. I get home and I have an app on my phone called I Am and there I Am affirmations but they're christian affirmations if you guys want to know the app i'll i'll link it into the description box but every you can set it up on your phone so you can get the notification once a day you can get it five times a day you can get it every hour and basically it's just christian affirmations that say like i am strong god's plan is better than mine like just like random things just to give you encouragement through the day okay as soon as i get home from the gym the notification that I pull up on my phone, and I'm going to post the photo somewhere in here. I'm going to post all these photos because I took photos. I want to share storytelling through my prophetic words I'm giving you guys. So I took a photo and I screenshotted it. And the I am notification that I got is, it is, wait, what? let me see what it says. It is my time to shine bright. It is my time. It is my time to shine bright. So God is saying to you, it is your time to shine bright. You've seen everyone else get blessed around you and you're like, God, when is it going to be my time? And God is saying your time is coming. Just hold on. There are brighter days ahead. 
then okay so that was the, that was sign two and i know that god has to give me a third one for me to know that this is a word that's how i've gone that's how i've learned to just have a relationship with god and i always know that when he speaks to me in threes that is a for sure sign that i need to put this word out i get home okay and this was on a monday so wednesday was yesterday and every single wednesday i fast and I just get rid of all distractions. I don't go on social media. I get off my phone and I focus on God. I focus on praying. I focus on praising him. And so I have this fasting book and every single time I fast, I only read this fasting book besides my Bible. Um, and I kid you not, you guys, I'm gonna post this in here somewhere too. The chapter that I left off on was about Proverbs in this book talking about Solomon. And I kid you not, you guys, the page that I left off on was this exact verse, Proverbs 4.18. As Solomon wrote, the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter. And I'm like, no way, God, no way. And so I'm like, so I'm actually, st the funny thing is I'm actually reading Proverbs right now. Like that is the book that I'm reading in right now. And I'm like, I do not remember reading that verse, but probably probably because I didn't have the word then when I was reading chapter four. So my eyes weren't open to see how that was significant. So I go back and I'm like, no way. I go back and I open my Bible to exactly Proverbs 418. And sure enough, here's the exact verse. The path of the righteous is like the light of dawn. dawn sorry. The path of the righteous is like the light of dawn shining brighter and brighter until midday. That is a word for somebody. Okay. Then if that was enough, I'm like, all right, God, you gave me three. I'm going to put out this word. Yesterday, I'm on the way to this new trail that I've never been to. Never been to. And on the way there, I pass. I literally made a U-turn because I'm like, no, I have to take a picture of this. Like, I have to let people see this. I'm on the way there. And I pass. It's like, was it a school? I think it was like a preschool. Yeah, it was a preschool. And it's called Bright Horizons. And it's literally a sun. I'm going to pop the photo in here somewhere. But it's literally a sun and it's like Bright Horizons. And there's like a sun over it shining. Like brighter days ahead. Brighter days are coming. Brighter days ahead. So I literally did a U-turn. Took a photo of this. And it God just kept unraveling this word. Saying even though your situation might seem dark right now. Even though... You feel like you're in the dark, like you don't know when you're going to walk into the light. You don't know when you're going to walk into the promised land. You don't, know, you don't know when you're going to walk into answered prayers. God is saying brighter days are ahead. Brighter horizons, brighter horizons. So in order for it to be bright, it has to first be dark because light is not light unless it's dark. So even though your situation looks dark right now, God is saying that brighter days are coming. Brighter days are ahead. And I kid you not, you guys. So yesterday I made a TikTok. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, go to my last video. I don't know when you guys are going to watch this video or when it's going to pop up on your page, but I posted a video of me and my dog and we're at the dock. And you know how TikTok puts your videos in categories? So after I uploaded my video, and I don't even know how to do this on my own, so I did not do this. But after I uploaded my video, I go on my TikTok and I click on the video that I uploaded and TikTok put it in the category called brighter days. I'm like, did he really just do this? He literally put my video in a category called brighter days. I'm like, so that was like the fifth sign now. And so that was just like, so good. What God was saying that there are brighter days ahead. So I don't know what your situation looks like right now, but God is telling you, if you've been praying for confirmation that God is telling you that there's going to be better days, that there's going to be brighter days. This is your confirmation that God is telling you, hold on. There are brighter days ahead. I hope this word blessed you guys. And I hope that you guys love these prophetic words. I'm going to continue to do this and share stories. And every single time God gives me a word, I'm going to try to take a photo or do whatever, because I want you guys to see how God speaks. If you've been wondering how God speaks, I also will link my website down here. I made a free ebook of five common ways that God speaks. So you guys can just put in your email address. It'll send it to your email and you'll see how God speaks in so many different ways. But I love you guys and I hope this word blessed you. See you guys in the next video.